Hey, so I got a request to do the lemon peel stitch and so I wanted to show you guys how to do that. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this wash dishcloth, please stay tuned. Okay, so the lemon peel stitch is relatively easy. As long as you know how to do a double crochet and a single crochet, you can pretty much catch on to this pattern. You just have to pay attention to the very beginning, okay? So go ahead and make yourself a slip knot and then place that on your crochet hook. Now I used a four medium weight yarn along with the 5.5 crochet hook size, but you can use whatever you want. The smaller the hook, the more condensed the stitches will be together. So it'll make a much more cozy or blanket or project. So I went ahead and made a chain of um, an even number plus one. So I guess you'll be, end up doing like an odd number, okay? So an odd number. And then you're gonna go ahead and the first stitch is going to be a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. So you'll count one over and then in that next stitch you would do your first single crochet stitch. After that, in the next stitch, you're going to do a double crochet stitch. Okay, And I, I'm assuming you know how to do a single and a double crochet, but um, if not, I'm going to go slow enough so that you can catch on here. And then I'll link in the description box another tutorial if you don't catch on here. Okay, So now you're going to do a single crochet stitch. You see how I'm kind of pulling it so you can kind of see where to put your crochet hook and then you're going to do a double crochet stitch so you have three on your hook yarn over pull through the first you know the first two stitches and then you're going to yarn over and pull through your bottom two so that's a double crochet and then you're going to do a single crochet so you see it's pretty simple it's just a double crochet, uh, I'm sorry, a single crochet, a double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. That's the way you do the pattern to whatever desired length. So if you're going to do a scarf or a hat, just make sure you start your initial foundation chain in an odd number, okay? Okay, so this is pretty much the pattern. You're going to do a double crochet and a single crochet pretty much all the way down. I'm going to stay on camera a little bit longer, a couple of more rows so that you guys can really get it. And just a reminder, if you haven't hit the notification bell, go ahead and do that because I'm going to try to put out a few more videos in regards to starter stitches. Okay. And then do a single. So just go ahead and continue working and I'll come back when I get to the end. Okay. So you're going to do a single crochet and in that very last stitch you want to make sure that you do a double crochet stitch okay okay once you've done your double crochet stitch go ahead and chain one and then turn your work all right in your very first stitch right there you're going to go ahead and do your first single crochet stitch all right and then you're going to do a double crochet stitch. Now I've seen um, other people have done this pattern. Um, I've seen it done a few ways. The way it works best for me is if you um, start with a single crochet and you end with a double crochet. So you don't have to think about anything. Just know as long as you end with a double crochet, then you've done everything right and it will block out really nicely, okay? So we're on the second row still, we're doing our double crochet stitch and then we're gonna do a single crochet stitch. Okay. That's pretty much it. Like I said before, um, in the beginning part of the video, this is a great stitch for if you wanted to do like a baby blanket where you want it to be a little bit more um, condensed or um, a thicker baby blanket because the holes are not, um, the holes are really close together so it's a little bit warmer this would probably be a nice scarf or even if you wanted to do like a border on a blanket that would probably be pretty cool too so just giving you some ideas on how you can use this stitch oh gosh guys how are the allergies in y'all's areas it is oh lord i feel like i'm sneezing every day so I think you're getting the gist of it. Now, if you have any questions about this stitch, just leave it down in the comment section down below, or you can always go on to my Instagram page. A lot of times, um, some of the people that watch my videos will 
follow um, will f contact me over on Instagram because it's a little bit quicker. I can respond quicker because your comments and concerns come straight to come straight to my phone. So here we are at the end of this row and we're just going to end it with a double crochet. And that's it guys. That's how you do a single uh, a lemon peel stitch. If you look at it really closely, which I'll try to show you a close up here at the end, you will um you will see that it kind of resembles the peel of a lemon. That's the whole point of it. So, use a smaller hook, use a smaller size yarn and, you know, it will really turn out pretty. I'll see you all in my next video. I hope this helps in some way and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.